Are airports safe from drones? No, they are not. Just before Christmas 2018 at London Gatwick, the travel plans of more than 140,000 passengers were disrupted and 1,000 flights were cancelled after reported sightings of drones. This might seem like common sense, but it's a bad idea to fly a drone near the airport, and this didn't stop one of the drone owners that was near London Heathrow, Dublin, and Dubai airports. Over the last few months, these airports have had flight operations grounded due to the drone incursions that have happened. Drones have been reported around and in airspace that is restricted, sometimes found by pilots. Airborne firefighting operations have also been grounded because of unauthorized drones. A grave safety issue for the pilots trying to save homes and forests, using helicopters and aircraft. While there have been a few verified collisions, there continues to be a concern on the impact a drone and a large commercial aircraft might have in an accident. Operators have held flights whenever drones are spotted, for the sheer reason of protecting the passengers. Essentially the people who are responsible for this are, for lack of a better word just a bunch of idiots potentially trying to cause video sensations. And usually, they're flown near airports and crowded spaces. It is illegal, and usually, they end up getting arrested because of this. Most people don't know about the laws and rules of flying either. They usually are being told more and more when drones are being sold to commercial operators and consumers. Some countries even require pilots to take a knowledge exam, register the drones, and attach the registration. This is to prepare for any of those potential risks of rogue drones. But, how do you respond if a rogue drone is spotted? The detection, along with the response is different. And many times, the military anti-drone aircraft can detect, identify, and track these drones. There is actually a system that brings these around. You need to also look at the location however because most commercial airplanes don't have the ballistic options that these drones have. Right now, the big issue is way in the balance of doing something to the drone or letting it sit for a few minutes, protecting the lives under the final approach. The answer, for the most part, is protecting and stopping traffic if a drone is spotted. There are also counter drone systems put in place, and these are a huge investment to deal with these idiots that fly these. But it is a caution that does need to be in place, especially since ISIS has been exporting the knowledge of how to use drones dangerously for terrorism reasons. So, if you don't want to be arrested by the police, and don't want to pay a heavy fine and potentially some jail time, don't fly a drone near an airport. Right now, people are taking measures to prevent the worst from happening and to help keep passengers safe in the event of a drone being spotted. You need to take the knowledge quiz, if applicable. You need to familiarize yourself with the rules for flying drones. You need to pay attention to the advisories that show up through the geofencing system. There are rules to follow, they're not that complicated. The goal is safety, and assuming you operate safely, you're going to have an awful lot of fun. What do you think? Share your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.